Well, he just mentioned it. Malachi took Lucky Ali to his limits in a best of three series matchup at the Steel Cage Showdown event. Malachi just a move away from getting his first singles match pinfall over the world's champion, Lucky Ali. A low blow followed by a grime line kept uh, Lucky Ali with his winning streak intact. But think about this, Malachi has pinned Lucky Ali twice before in a tag match as well as in a scramble match. Right here though, a huge challenge of the count. Malachi stay up high. Wow! My goodness! We're not even 30 seconds in! What's that? Slides in, Malachi to the outside, Jay back wow. in. See the springs and, and Reed's feet when he landed. This means this guy has enough poise to see when a guy's need to readjust to land on his feet. I'm really interested to see how this matchup plays out here, Caprice. Two guys who seemingly don't have an off switch. They yeah. just go, go, go. But high risk was gonna take if somebody crashed. The first person that crashed loses. Myron Reed with perhaps a bit more experience, perhaps oh, a little more well-known throughout the independent wrestling circuit. But as we said, Malachi, a hidden gem. It's only a matter of time until the rest of the world knows what Malachi can do. And you know what's crazy about it? This guy has been wrestling a whole lot longer than he looks like. He's been wrestling since he was 13 years old, training under uh, cold zone. People wouldn't let him wrestle because he's so young, and all he did was continue to get better and better. And now he's still not even 20 years old, and this is amazing already. Head scissor sends Reed flying. Myron back up. Oh, so oh what a leap on the drop. He's so smooth, man. He could have ordered a pizza before he drop kicked it. <laughs> and a little hesitation yeah. on that drop kick, and what height. What a leap. No doubt a huge test for Malachi, but a win would prove something that we know that Malachi has everything that it takes yeah. to be a champion here in DPW. A win over Reed, obviously. Wow. Reed avoided that kick. Almost crashed into the referee. Reed very elusive, and Reed would also have the strength advantage here against Malachi. I think he said it, Caprice, whoever crashes first. Yeah. Oh! oh. Or a drop kick in. Malachi, that's smart. Quickly yeah. worn to the outside, but, well, maybe not. Well, you remember what happened the last time they were on the outside of the ring. However, there's some veteran instinct right here. Malachi. Whoa! Whoa. Big flying crossbody to the outside, and Myron Reed back on his feet. They have the slight advantage. Malachi, boy, he looks dizzy. Tell you what, man, we're not even five minutes into this match. They've only been, already been 3,000. 3, Are you kidding me right now? I mean, we said it. Two guys that uh, refuse to slow down. I don't know if they know how to slow down. Look out. Oh, right on the apron. It's that power advantage right here that Reed has. He's using that ring, far side of the ring, to get the advantage on Malachi. Some of that crash and burn part. And Malachi, I mean, Reed, even though Reed was in control of that dive, you don't know how Reed landed. You see Reed grabbing his face right there, trying to close in on Malachi, taking the wind out of him with that bear hug from behind. Making it hard for Malachi to get his breath. Two wrestlers who even when they're tired, I mean, do they get tired? I don't even know if they get tired. They just go. You get tired, but the most thing is when you get that high impact, that rushing hit, it's almost like taking a hose pipe when it's running, close it, and then open it back up. That's that rush that you get to your head after a high impact move and somebody locks in a move the way that Ryan, that Reed has it in now. Mm. And you mentioned it. Reed was kind of uh, holding his head when he came up, and yeah. you never know. You, you come down hard on, on one of those dimes over the top. They don't call it high risk for no reason. Nice Superman punch by Malachi. <laughs> nice German suplex. Reed back up. Oh, wow. Malachi back up. Yeah, well, that was by instinct. Oh, 
fans rising to their feet, appreciating the effort from both. And you know what? Mentioned Cozone. Obviously, Cozone with his fingerprints Absolutely. all over DPW, but especially Jay Malachi. Yeah. He, in, in many ways, Cozone's special project. Absolutely. He's known uh, Cozone for, for most of his, all of his wrestling career. His parents had to sign documents to allow Cozone to train him because he was so young. And he knows Cozone almost like a wrestling figure, less wrestling father figure uh, for Malachi. In theory, a battle of the cutters here, Caprice. Mm. The Malik cutter or the flame on. Well, we haven't seen any of them tried. Right now, both wrestlers realize they have to warm their opponent down before they can try either one of them. Beautiful ascension right there by Malachi. Wow. He was past the center of the ring. He just flew past. The most people say the middle of the ring. He was past that before he landed. He's going to try right here. First attempt of a cutter. Calling for the mallet cutter. I don't know if he should have called for it. Yeah. Yeah. Again, Malachi rolling to the outside. You call your shot against Myron Reed, nine out of ten times he's going to make you pay. Well, you call your shot against anybody, they can hear you no matter how much trouble they're in. Oh, oh man, Kozak. Malachi lands on his feet. I got yeah. Kozak on the brain. Myron Reed has hit me with that move. It's a, it's a cutter to the outside. so much. That would have been a definite. Myra Reed hits that cutter, rolls you in, and finishes you off. The fact that, my, uh, that Malachi was able to block that shows how much he knows about Myra Reed, how much he studied Myra Reed. Oh, man, hold on. Reed is still on the other side of the guardrail. Yeah, he can't get that far. Oh, I forgot who I'm talking about. Oh, look okay. out. Myron Reed, Jay Malachi, the Battle of the Cutters. I tell you Malachi what. with a little advantage here, Caprice. Absolutely, Malachi in control now. He's going to have to take the control and try to get a win. There's some things with the young people that try to impress instead of trying to get a chest press and win the match. That time that he eluded allowed Myron Reed to recover. Yeah. Myron is oh, so Wow. Axe kick. With Malachi draped over the rope, and now it is Reed going to the top. Reed is not wasting time. Mm, able to recover. Big yeah. super kick. That's what I mean about Myron Reed. He has the ability to recover in the air. That's a rare ability of agility. That's that power advantage. Ooh, Malachi barely out of it. Myron Reed will use every inch of the ring, every piece of the ring that he can for advantage. Using the ropes into that power bomb. Yeah, and the experience that Myron Reed is, he knows how strong he is, he knows how fast he is, and he knows when to use his strength and when to use his speed. When he can't outspeed Malachi, he outstrengths him. And that's a very smart Myron Reed. Called a lot of Myron Reed matches over the years, and it's been exciting to see him grow as a competitor, become so much more confident. Malachi rolling Reed up. Misses with the kick. Catches Reed's kick. Oh, it's a carry. Up into the fireman's carry. Myron Reed sets him up. Wow. Oh, man. This might be enough. This might be enough. You said you gotta, you gotta wear each other down. Yeah. Because they each know oh, that the cutter's gonna come into play, potentially. 
And then when you name a match like that, you gotta be looking for it. You have to be anticipating it. So that's the first thing you want to avoid. My goodness, I'm always impressed by the agility of Myron Reed and how he continues. Wants to put the exclamation oh, point on him with the super kick. My that might just God, do it. That super kick reached low and hit him high. Reed's calling for flame on. First time Reed calls for the cutter. Malachi called for the 